Faro Show with host Jeff Zellin. Jeff's special guest tonight is Johnny Siegel, world champion Mattel in television player. And now, for all you people who don't have a video game and have got nothing better to do at 12.30 at night, here's Jeff. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Jeff Zellin. We are bringing you the Tomorrow Show, and we have a great show lined up for you tonight. Before we get into that, I want to answer a few questions about last night's show, and I've been getting dozens, absolutely literally dozens of phone calls asking about the transsexual and what team he, that she played baseball for, he played baseball for, and I believe it was the Cleveland Indians back from 1969, from 1973, and before that, he, she used to play tennis, and it was, well, bef before we get into that, I'm going to introduce tonight's show, which is Jonathan Siegel, the Mattel and television champion player. Would you please bring out John Siegel? How are you doing tonight, John? Doing real good, Jeff, real good. John, I think the, the thing that many of our viewers have been wondering about, and well, what the heck I've been certainly wondering about myself, is what is a, a nice, rich Jewish boy from Miami Beach doing and playing and, well, if I may say, a kid's game? I mean, I, you sit there all day, you press the little buttons, and good golly, who knows what else you're going to do with your hands? I mean, how did you get started in something as ludicrous as this? Well, you know, just like the old saying goes, right from the movie, I had a dream, and, and uh, from the next day on, I went out and bought my game, played it the first time, was great at it, and from, it, was, it was made for me. It really was. It was just made for me. I'm made for it. Fate. Definitely. All right, sir. All right, sir. I'll buy that. That sounds good. John, how do you, like many other professional athletes and performers and, and whatever else, I mean, you must take certain risks in your business. Am I right? I mean, I mean, how do you keep from getting your, your fingers sprained, your ligaments torn, your whatever it is pulled? And, and how do you, well, how do you keep in shape to prevent against injuries like this happening and injuring your lifetime career? Well, I'll tell you, Jeff, I take this intelligence as, very, as seriously as any other athlete. I wrap myself, my fingers, before every game. I practice eight hours a day. I, you know, keep my, my nutrition with my IntelliQuays, and, uh, and I, you know, do my, my Debel exercises every time I pray. <laughs> you know, John, I thought you said Debel exercises. Is that what you said? That's exactly what I said. Oh. What the heck is Debola exercise? Well, those, I mean, oh. I've never heard of the word before. Well, those are my Intellivision lingo exercises that I do. I All keep right, in sir. shape with those. That sounds good to me. I, before I uh, get on another subject, let's take a look at John. I believe we have some videotapes of John showing some of his better performances. Uh, Shaw, would you roll that tape of the video, please? Well, that's right. Alex, my, you know, my manager, Alex, brought this along with him. And he didn't even tell me until we were here this morning. Let me see. Here I am in the, oh, yeah, Augusta convention center back in 79 it was a par four and i i eagle to this here it was a 385 yard oh my god in the cup that was incredible hey here we go we're in uh, 1980 atlantic city boxing uh who was i fighting there i seem oh, to recognize that fell on the right over there yeah, well the, the, left, the right side the is me side. <laughs> the left no, I mean, side the left is side uh, looks like a familiar face well the left side is what's his name jose schwartz from brooklyn that said i went to high school with the guy he was previously undefeated but here i am jabbing left jabbing left right oh my god went down with 48 seconds left in the first round went on to continue my streak absolutely, of 32 and absolutely 0. amazing and let me see what else he brought. That was a great fight, I remember. Uh, here we are. What do we have here? Football, yeah, the Intelligence Football Championship last year. First play of the game, I picked off one of his passes, brought it back to the, what was it, the, maybe the 15-yard line, 14. On my first play, you know, I, uh, I picked a uh, 9719, as everyone knows, as a down-the-sidelines wide pass. And uh, there's my man wide open, faked him out. Oh, my God, that was a... Beautiful pass for a touchdown. And let me see, I think that's all he brought with him. Uh, well, no, just last week's uh, Intellivision World Series. Uh, it was great. Bases loaded first inning. Almost picked me off there, but inside pitch. Kiss that baby goodbye. Grand slam home run first. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely wonderful. One of four of the whole game. I whipped him 12 nothing. but let me see. Is that, oh, man on first and second for him. I'm in the field now. 
deep fly to deep center field. Scoop that up, throw to third, one, two, back to first base for the fourth out of the inning. It was, that was, man, you know, the history of it's been great. So I've been very <laughs> bravo, fortunate. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Thanks. Absolutely amazing. John, that is without question the greatest in television performance I have ever seen in God knows how many places I have been in and video places, whatever. That is the best performance I have ever seen. Thanks. But before I elaborate on that, let me ask you a question. I mean, I ask every famous person I have here. Obviously, you're a famous person or you wouldn't be on this show. <laughs> but what I want to ask you is, first of all, what about the groupies? I mean, like athletes and musicians, talk show hosts. <laughs> we all have our, our followings and people that come out and, and watch us. John, how often, well, do they come after a slice of the sausage? Can I say that on the air, show? Uh, my, my director's yelling at me and screaming at me, listen, gosh darn it, this is my show. I'm going to say exactly what I want to say, guy, and don't tell me what to do. John, how often do you get laid playing Pac-Man? Oh, God, I, I uh, don't have time to, to have that. But as far as Pac-Man goes, never liked it, never will, never have, never played a game in my life. I, I, Atari Pac-Man is for amateurs. All right, sure, I buy that. Well, we're going to have to cut it short. Ladies and gentlemen, be with us tomorrow. We're going to be with Linda Lovelace and Abby Hoffman. We're going to be discussing the sexual patterns of El Salvador. Please be with us then. See you then.